Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Khalid Mahmood, your online trainer. In today's video, we are going to create exercise 32 in AutoCAD. So if you follow step by step, you can make as same as very easily. And also you can download this file for your practice link in the description box. So let's get started. Step 1. Open your AutoCAD, start a new drawing, set a unit 2 mm. So type UN, enter, choose as a decimal, precision 0, 0.0 and the session scale will be millimeter. Press OK. Now step 2. Draw the main circle. So the main circle will be this one, diameter will be 63. Use C for circle command, click on a specific point put the diameter for d enter 63 press enter now again we are going to create one more circle this one is an inner circle and diameter will be 54 so use c for circle command click on same center point d for diameter put a value as a diameter 54 enter now step 3 create the hexagon just like a bold shape so use pol for polygon command put a number of sides 6 use center point this one inscribed circle and diameter will be 13 so use as a radius 50 press enter now select this polygon use ro for rotate command click on center point and put a angle as a minus 15 press enter now step 4 draw the sides holes as you see in this diagram we are going to create these holes and these holes so use circle command c for circle this outer circle radius will be 13 and inner circle diameter will be 13.5 Select circle command C4 circle, click on same center point and radius will be 13. Now select the circle, use move command M4 move and right side it will be 45, press enter. Now again C4 circle, click on same center point and diameter will be 13.5. Now again select same circle use copy command press enter left side it will be 90 press enter now again select this circle and move down side it will be 30 so just move down side click on any point and cursor will be down and put a value as a 30 press enter now step 5 draw the outer shape as you see this diagram this one arc so we are going to create these arcs so use tangent tangent circle you can find this circle in draw tab choose this circle so click on this first point click on this second point and put a value as a 90 radius now again as same as you can choose as a radius 37.5 so use c for circle ttr enter First this circle, second this circle and put a value as a 37.5, press enter. Now trim unwanted part, tr double enter, trim this one and also this one. Now if you see this left side arc will be completed, now need to create these lines. So you can activate OS for snap setting and choose here clear all and only and only tangent choose tangent press ok use a line command l for line click on this tangent point to this tangent point press enter now again same just press enter to activate same command click on this circle to this circle press enter now we are going to trim unwanted part of this drawing so use tr double enter trim this circle and also this circle this also trim this circle 
and if you want to trim just you can trim this circle also now if you see very carefully we have two line as a center line now again press os for o snap setting and need to activate all these one press ok now create a line as you see in this diagram this one a center line so we are going to create this center line from here to here now select this line and use a rotate command ro for rotate click on same center point from here and choose c for copy just line now select this both circle go to properties and change a line type as a center line and color will be red now step 6 final touch add dimension using dimension command dimension diameter dimension radius dimension linear dimension angular command and check everything in your accuracy so select this all the part and go to properties and change your line thickness as a 0 0.30 now if you need you can create one more circle from here and put a diameter as a 63 press enter and trim this circle and also this circle okay now you can add diameter i already explained how can you add on this drawing after you add the diameter your drawing will be looks just like that so congratulations you have successfully complete exercise 32 in autocad i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you enjoy this tutorial so don't so don't forget to like share and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful click the bell icon to see you never miss any update so join our youtube channel to support us your support helps me create more valuable content so don't forget to download the pdf file from the description box and practice more so see you in the next tutorial tata bye bye take care